Welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress with me, Replator Mata. Now, last time we got some more farm plots set up above ground. We had built a farmer's workshop right next to a couple chains, those will be used later. And we have... Well, we have some roasts that are going to go bad rather quickly because they're not in barrels. Go figure. Anyway, so our plan, our current plan, is to build four more mechanisms, one more hatch cover, and link all of them to that lever. And then we get some more barrels for those pieces of food, and basically just finish actually building the apartment complex. So let's give that a shot. Alright, that cut in a little late, but okay. I'm not gonna dick around. I'm not gonna mess around with it. It's fine. It's fine where it is. Alright, we have native gold. I like native gold. Do you like native gold? You don't? What's wrong with you? Seriously. Anyway, that's all smooth, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, we need need... Yeah, we need more... Furniture, though. Where's our mason? Seriously. Where is the dwarf that does things? Yeah, you're not gonna be a mason, ever. Not if I can help it. Um, where is the guy that does things? Architect, what are you doing? Ah, on break. Another Fey Mood. This is awesome. Oh, damn it! Possession. Possession is bad. I can tell you that much. Possession is not the good mood. It means he doesn't get any experience for creating his artifact. Yeah, we want dwarves to get experience for creating artifacts, but possessed possessed ones? No. It doesn't happen. So, we're just gonna let him make his artifact and then say, oh, eh, I don't get any experience. Didn't this come up last episode? There we go. What are all these... Oh, right, I don't have a guy who does things. I don't have a gem stockpile yet. I don't have a leather stockpile either. And we need bins there. Seriously. The lack of bins in the in the bar stockpile is pissing me off. What are you building with, anyway? Looks like bone, magnetite, and gems. Whatever. I don't care. I don't... I like just randomly having things go on, but... Eh. Or rather, I like having all the materials that a possessed or fade dwarf deeds for his artifact, but it means you don't know what he wants, so you can't manipulate what he uses. Because it is possible to force a dwarf to use ridiculous numbers of uh, ridiculously valuable items for his artifacts, thus increasing their value to the millions. That is not happening here. Anyway. Okay, you... Yeah, you are getting chained. Have fun getting... Ch getting chained. So, you may be asking yourself why we're dealing with chaining animals next to our farmer's workshop. Well, here's the answer. 
milk creature. Can process milk into cheese at the farmer's workshop. Cheese is a valuable trade good, and it can be used for making food. Which I may actually need. But yeah, that's rather a lot of plump helmets. Can I even brew with them? Yes, I can brew with them. I've got that set, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. As you may have noticed, we have a lot of different types of, types of alcohol. This is good! As previously stated, dwarves will go crazy if they only have one type of alcohol. And he created a toy hammer. Go figure. It's only worth 32400 but... It sp menaces with spikes of magnetite and donkey bone. Ah oh well, I would have preferred he got an experience for that, but go figure. Ah uh, well, just try again next time, I guess. Uh, here's a question. Why is a bar and block bin in a furniture stockpile? And why didn't they just take the bin down to the stockpile? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like I need more logs. I need to be careful about cutting down trees, though, because I don't remember if I have elves nearby. I don't think I do, but just be sure. They'll show up this season. It's spring now, but uh, I'm not sure if they're going to actually show up. And you need to be more precise. Get to it. Do work, sir. And we should also have a new immigrant wave coming in, so we need to actually get to work on those bedrooms. Well, we can always extend them out. I think that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm just going to extend these bedrooms out. It's not really much to say about it, besides the fact that we need more bedrooms. And... Actually... I'll do that the other way around. So we're going to have another, what, 24 bedrooms? Sounds good to me. Because we're going to have a pretty big immigrant wave soon, if I'm not mistaken. And we need bedrooms for them. Which also means we need beds, but that's easily taken care of.
And we need to scroll over Anyway, this has been another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress with Repo Armada. I'll see you next time. Good night.